Hey, how's it going everybody? For today's video, we're gonna be doing an all injured team. So the players that make this team are those who have had career ending injuries, or you've seen a steady decline in them since their injuries. It's a whole vast type of injuries. Now, Jim Edmonds hasn't had necessarily a injury plagued career, but it is worth having him on the team because in 2010, in his final at bat with the Reds, he ended up hitting a home run, which is the crazy part of all this. And then he actually, while rounding the bags, injures his Achilles. And because of that, that is his actual final career at bat. At least he ended it off on a good high note with a home run. In center field, we'll be using Ken Griffey Jr. Now he missed upwards of around 260 games from the span of 2002 to 2004 thankfully he still was able to hit 500 career home runs and ended up truly having an amazing career but it does leave some questions of what could have been in right field we'll be using christian yelich now i'm sure most of you are familiar with his injury him and tommy Lastella essentially did the same thing now the worst part about this injury where he fouled off a ball onto his knee and ended up breaking his knee he could have been mvp this year but because he missed that last kind of crucial part of the season he unfortunately ended up losing it to cody bellinger and i will argue if he was able to stay healthy he would have probably been our mvp in the nl at third base we will be using chipper jones now what's interesting about chipper jones is from the beginning of his career all the way to the very end he's had some pretty major injuries in 1994 chipper jones had to end up missing his entire year because of a knee injury moving forward towards the end of his career in 2010 his age 38 season he ended up tearing his acl in which some thought that could have been his career ending injury thankfully he did end up actually coming back for those last two years up until his age 40 season and put up some pretty decent numbers at shortstop we're gonna have troy tulowitzki now i'm not gonna go too deep in detail of troy tulowitzki other than we all know him as an injury prone player and he is also a type of player that we wish we could have seen grow up and have an injury free career as somebody who did have comparisons to being the next cal ripkin the next a rod those ailments that he kept receiving year in and year out caused him to be what could have been at second base we'll be using fernando tatis jr at shortstop for the padres this year he had a 4.2 war hit 317 hit 22 tanks stole 16 bags he is a five tool player but unfortunately again this year his rookie campaign came to an early close due to some back problems at first base we'll be using albert pujols signature series card pools has suffered quite a few problems since joining the angels he's had anything from heel problems to knee problems to even back problems because of these problems he's actually missed quite a few games for the angels not only just because of his declining stats but because of his injury status at catcher, we'll be using one of my favorite catchers right now in the game, Yadier Molina. In 2014, Yadi ended up missing 40 games in total, and it ended up being seven weeks. He still ended up coming ahead of schedule where they predicted him to be out for eight to 12 weeks due to a torn ligament in his thumb. Ever since then, pretty much every year since he's been on and off the DL, not necessarily for the same exact stints of time, but 10 day DLs and sometimes even longer. 2017, when the Dodgers could have used Agon the most, he ended up being placed on the 60 day DL because of a herniated disc. Now there is a little bit of silver lining in Agon's injury. That silver lining would be that Cody Bellinger got more playing time in his rookie season and ended up having one of the better rookie years in recent memory. Our second bench bat is gonna be Josh Donaldson signature series card. Now in 2018, he only appeared in 52 games due to a list of problems. He just had an injury bug. It just didn't seem to go away in 2018, but thankfully in 2019, he did come back and have a pretty solid year. Our next bench bat is gonna be Edgar Martinez. Now towards the very end of his career in 2002 through 2004, he also was plagued with the injury bug. In 2004, Edgar Martinez was forced to retire and during his speech, he said, it is hard, it is very hard. I feel in my mind and my heart i want to keep playing but my body is saying something differently we could be using mike trout in our starting lineup but because his injuries are not as significant as other people's we're going to keep him on the bench in 2017 after an mri it was revealed that mike Trout was going to need to miss six to eight weeks due to a torn thumb ligament because of this injury in 2017 mike trout only played in 114 games that year and that is considered a career low for him also in 2019, Mike Trout's season did come to a somewhat early end as he needed to have season ending foot surgery on his right foot. Last player on our bench is going to be someone that we are also very familiar with in Shohei Otani. Now, Otani has actually received some pretty serious injuries in the last two years. During his rookie campaign, he ended up needing Tommy John, which was season ending for him, and then in 2019 comes back to hit. Now, even though he only came back in 2019 to hit, not pitch, 
he ended up missing the last two weeks of the season due to a knee injury. Now, as we went over the reasons for why we have our starting players and also our bench, for our starting pitchers, we're using Madison Bumgarner, Kerry Wood, Rick Ankiel, Tommy John, again, for an obvious reason. His surgery is named after him, and then Trevor Bauer. In the bullpen, we got Kenley Jansen, Zach Britton, who has been plagued with injuries the last couple years. Hopefully, he's able to come back and return to his old self. Blake Snell suffered the injury earlier this year. Blake Trinian, Troy Percival, Raleigh Fingers, and Dylan Betances. So the way the lineup is going to go, we're going to have Fernando Titties Jr. leading it off. Ken Griffey in the two spot. Chipper Jones hitting third. Albert Pujols in the four spot. Christian Yelich, Troy Tulowitzki hitting sixth. Jim Edmonds and Yachty hitting eighth. We are currently rated 941. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. Our opponent for today is going to be the Evan Hitman 31 Tampa Bay Jetthawks. He's got Kershaw. We got Mad Bum, a pitcher who rakes. He's got Griffey, Larkin, George Brett, Pujols, Teddy, Willie, Boy Nature, and Rogers Hornsby. And just as a heads up, we actually played a game right before this where literally in the first inning, Trevor Bauer took a line drive to the head and got hurt. So... I'm playing another one because that game went so bad because of the bullpen. It, it wasn't even entertaining in the slightest. It was honestly just sad how that all happened. First, let's not continue this. Let's not continue the bad luck of hard hit balls right at people. Out number one. Griffey's going to drive it. Yeah, let's... Chipper Jones, let's go. It only took three batters of well hit balls to get us our first base hit. 68 speed standing on first can we get a good swing for a tank pools the dead center is she gone or is it dying right at the wall well a very good inning of well hit balls just unfortunately still not good luck this may not be a lucky day that's what that might be one two hang that curveball but it, it does not it is not gonna matter routine ground ball to Tatis Jr. out number one. First pitch to Barry, a fastball that's finding a lot of the plate, but you know what? Let's receive the good luck right on back. Now this is probably the stupid pitch. He is not yet adjusted. Let's go change up, hang it. That a boy, but you know what? At least the game is keeping it honest. It is keeping it even. Let's see if we can keep scoring it up and get the better luck this time around. On the 3-1, did we get all of it, or is it going to be a deep flyout? It looks like it's either going to be off the top of the wall or gone. Off the top of the wall, Griffey doesn't get a good animation. We are chugging it along to third. A no-out triple. And Tulo's going to piss it on out. A, an absolute liner. That thing had to have been off the bat at 115 plus. What was it? 110. Okay, close enough. There's the offense that I'm looking for. We found a gap. We found the wall. And we found a bomb. And is Jim Edmonds going lefty-lefty tank? Or is that going to be a deep flyout to... What do I need to do, game? Today's game has been bugging. It has been absolutely bananas. I cannot get anything to work at all. Like I said, in the game prior, Trevor Bauer in the first inning got pegged in the face by a ball. And then the rest of the game just went downhill because the bullpen is not good. So let's see if uh, Mad Bum can not only have a long and good game, can he hit tanks? That's going to be a routine ground ball to short. But thankfully, we do score two. And we also did find some bad luck as well. Oh, two. That's probably gone. Nope. Oh, he slammed his PCI too far down. We got bailed out. Routine pop up to Yachty. Oh, one. There's probably a fat mistake. Nope. Blow bomb. That's. Yeah. Well, I'm going to receive some more good luck right on back. Line out to center field. And that is absolutely hammered. But thankfully, that is only going to be off the top of the wall. We're going to be giving up a double. Go back to that cutter in on his hands. And it gets the job done a routine fly out to jim edmonds who is taking a sweet time to get there fernando titties jr base it through the left side we got a man with speed on first we may be looking to go that way again with how our luck's gone today i guess a double play's happening if i don't go we got a good jump we're taking all the way is that a strike it is but what type of round is that? Thankfully, we're still safe, but what are we doing on the base pass there, Chief? And Ken Griffey's going to rocket that one, and that is going to get down. What is happening today? What is going on? Albert Puyayas drives it into the gap. There we go. This is the better 
of the first inning. We are all over Kershaw. Another double. Let's keep it rolling. We're on that one, too. That is going to be a fly ball to center. And honestly, no point in challenging Willie Mays with 58 speed. We'll hope to get a base hit to score him. Does Tulowitzki do it again? Is it at least going to get down 58 speed? We're going to be challenging Willie Mays and getting absolutely gunnied at home. He got an amazing animation. But again, we do score two. Almost got three. Hopefully this time around, he's going to think it's a cutter that's going to be coming low and in. Oh, it doesn't matter if we're going to be throwing it down the middle. He makes us pay this time. We got to be careful when we throw that pitch. If we miss, I'd rather kneecap somebody because that pitch is a guaranteed nuke when he misses it over the plate. 0-1, oh, good fastball inside to Kershaw. Lock him up. That's the first out of this inning. First pitch to Griffey. A cutter on the outside corner gets him to almost get a base hit full count we're gonna go gas up and away gets the job done we only give up one solo shot let's try and get that run right on back jim edmonds is gonna roll that one over to first for the first out can yadi stay hot yadi's gonna continue his hot streak i think he's got it he's he has to join the god squad he's just been way too good mad bum is he gonna get the base hit up the middle no it is going to hit Kershaw at his feet, so that is going to get him an out. Tatis Jr., is he going to get it through the hole? Okay, another inning. We are all over him. We're hitting it hard. Still not finding the luck of the dice. Oh, 2 we're going to try and extend the strikes on a little bit. We're going to see or not. But thankfully, it is still going to work. The cutter was placed in at least a decent spot and used at the right time. 2-0, we're going to throw that fastball. That found a whole lot of the plate, but Gold Glove Tulo out number two. Two, two, let's get some gas up out of the zone. That's probably way too far out of the zone. And it it clearly wasn't because he still wanted it. And he took that out of Yachty's mitt. Let's execute a good fastball low and in. Lock him up so we don't give up any runs. Let's try and continue to get that one run back so we can extend our lead back to four. Griffey got a hanging curveball, but he's going to get it through the shift. 84 speed on first. This is how we want to start off our inning. Can we capitalize? And we swung at a bad pitch, but now we're going to bleed it on in there. We're making up for some bad luck. We got something good to go our way on a terrible swing. And Pujols is going to drive it. Is it going to be a laser on out? We are hitting absolute lasers. There's no moonshots. Just absolute nukes. Yelich is going to get a slider over the plate, but we found ourselves on top of it for out number one. Have yourself a day, too low Ball for Jim Edmonds. You got robbed by Griffey, and you've also had a terrible out. Uh, bare minimum, can we avoid the double play? Can we get that double in the gap? I'm going to gamble that. He's not catching it. And I gambled wrong. Edmonds. Looks like this standout of the unlucky game. We do extend our lead back to five. Oh, actually, what do we have? It's seven one. So we extend our lead to six. Originally it was four, then three, and now six. Oh one. We're gonna go ahead and bring that fastball up and away. Good pitch. He sat back on it, drove it, but is Yelich gonna be able to track it down? He is out number two. You know what? We are gonna challenge Hornsby. See if he likes that fastball up and in. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, he he loves it very much. 2-1, Willie chase that cutter inside. He does, and too low gets a good jump on that one. He steals that hit from happening. Yachty gets a pitch inside, but we didn't get our PCI in enough. That is going to be out number one. Mad Bum pitchers, who rake an absolute nuke. I may even have to put him in the starting rotation. He's having himself a good pitching debut, and I love that he can rake a little bit. And we got jammed up on that slider inside. An absolutely beautiful pitch. Out number two. Grivy's going to drive it. Is he... He... Oh. Who is that? Ted Williams out there? I don't... That is bad. I mean, obviously, we were all over that. And we did power swing. But if it's right, Adam, I do expect him to at least catch it. With Chipper Jones, that should have been another two runs, but we missed it. We do at least score one this inning. After that pitch, we're going to go cutter away. Good pitch, and we got him out in front, but Griffey has enough power to hook it on out. Oh, one, there's probably another tank. Yeah, I was going to say, you throw a change up down the middle, Mad Bum. It's a good thing you hit a home run to help yourself out, because now I'm questioning your pitching abilities. Now, last time, even though he was early on that cutter and hit a home run, we're going to go right back to it, because usually early's... 
All right, he's getting everything to go his way. <laughs> Literally everything to go his way. Yelich, what are we doing, buddy? And I can't be too upset at Mad Bum, to be honest. I mean, that is two unfortunate hits. We're throwing the right pitches at the right times as he's going to hit it hot and deep all the way to the wall, but not deep enough. Out number one. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We got a routine fly out to left on a fastball right down the middle. Let's get out of this. Only two runs allowed right here, and he's going to be able to squeak it right up the middle. Can Griffey show off the hose? He's not going to challenge him to third. 2-2 two, two, fastball inside. We jammed him. Can Tati show off the range? Get him out at second. We do barely. Yelich is going to drive into the gap. He left out, and then is it going to get over the wall? Another laser. There is no, there is no moonshots happening right now. Nothing but missiles. Is that going to be enough? That is not. That is going to be a routine fly out to center. Jim Edmonds is going to hit it hard right to the shortstop. For round number two. Yachty going to get a base hit to the right side. Are we going to be able to turn that into a double? We are absolutely not. Let's do it again, Mad Bum. Let's do it again. Did Mad Bum do it again? Mad Bum has two tanks today. Just because of that, Mad Bum has a, a guaranteed spot in the God Squad rotation. And then Tatis Jr. is going to drive it to right, but that is not hit up high enough to get over Griffey's head. Best thing about Mad Bum isn't even necessarily his hitting for me. It's the fact that I'm able to locate, as we kind of missed our spot right there, but it is still going to lead to an out. Oh, two. 2 let's see if we could freeze him with gas. Nope, that's probably gone out. Got bailed out right there. A routine fly ball in the infield. Out number two. All right, we threw this pitch to Griffey last time, and he yanked it on out, but that cutter is just too dirty. We, I don't think we've missed our cutter once with him. Oh, well, we're going right back to that cutter. Good pitch, and he's out in front, but not enough power this time to yank it on out. Well, thank goodness Matt Bum's going to distance because, like I said, last game, when Trevor Bauer got hurt in the first inning, and I had to rely on the bullpen, there's no way our bullpen has any energy right now. Griffey's going to scream it up the middle, but right on into the shift out number one. Chip Jones, is that going to get on out or is it going to die at the wall? It is off the very top of the wall. And we're going to go ahead and try and stretch it into a triple because Willie Mays was not going to be able to get there in time. We are one run away from the mercy. Albert Pujols is going to hit a chopper in the infield. And we are leaving the runner stranded at third. We still need that hit. Dulo is going to scream it right to the third baseman. Let's see if we can execute the fastball this time. We need to get it low and in. Good pitch. And it locked him up for out number one. Throw that cutter away. Another beautiful cutter executed perfectly. Hopefully this time he's a little bit weary of us going to the cutter for the third time. Fastball upstairs. He is ready for it, but that is going to be in out Griffey with enough range to track it down. First pitch to Pujols. Change up outside. Dude. This is the pitcher that I am looking for for the God Squad. Not only can he rake, but he's just not missing his spots. He just keeps dotting. Dot, 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 and more dots. Fly out to center field. Jim Edmonds is going to roll that over to the second baseman. First pitch swing and out number one. Yachty drives it into the gap, and that is easily going to be a double. And only a double because 41 speed is too slow. Mad Bum, can you do it? the third time mad bum dude this pitcher who rakes just f fernando titty jr is gonna hit it hard into a double play we still leave the runner stranded yet again one one good cutter on the outside part of the play got him to roll it over and pool holes with the range and gold glove caliber defense it's just so nice that I'm actually able to locate for once in my life. Like, it is a beautiful thing. And Tulo almost got another diving play. Fastball away, and he's going to drive it to right. But we are going to be able to track that down with Yelich. Out number two. If player of the game ain't bum Gardner for going complete game, yeah, it wasn't a shutout. He did give up two tanks, but he went complete game, only three runs allowed, with two bombs and a single. Oh, two change up. That's going to hang on us a little bit. Don't matter. Yeah! Player of the game does not end up being mad bum. Nine innings, eight hits allowed, three earned runs, only one strikeout to end the game. 
but our player of the game is Pujols, two for four, a home run, a double, four ribbies. Christian Yelich, two for four, a home run, a triple, and two RBI. Tulo showed up, two for four, a home run, with two ribbies. Ken Griffey, two for five with that double. Again, the fact that Mad Bum hit two tanks in one game. I love him. He's on the God Squad. He's staying. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.